And don't be afraid to tell people. You'll never get out there if you don't tell people. The first few views you get, the first subscribers you get can be people that you know. Your Facebook friends. I have 5,000 Facebook friends. Most of them subscribe to my channel. They don't gotta, I mean, I want them to watch it, but if they don't watch it, Honestly, in the beginning, I didn't think that I was going to make it here on YouTube. I didn't think that nothing was going to happen. My numbers were so slow in the beginning. And then all of a sudden, I blew up. It's like, nah. I didn't blow up. Hey, you guys. Welcome to my channel. If you are brand new, then welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back. So as you can tell from the title of this video, it's really just going to be me trying to tell you and help you to be successful here on YouTube. So you guys who are not subscribed to my channel or if it's your first time here, I've only been on YouTube now for two and a half months. And within those two and a half months, I've already been monetized. So that means I would have have hit that 1,000 subscriber minimum to be qualified for the YouTube Partnership Program. And then I also hit that 4,000 plus hours of watch time to be qualified for the program. So within the two and a half months, I've been accepted. So I decided to do this video, you know, simply because whenever I was starting off two and a half months ago, or even six months ago when I thought about it, or a year ago when I thought about it, I wasn't sure on the process. I didn't know how long it would take to get monetized. I wasn't sure you know, how to be successful or what to do. So I just want to, you know, I wanted to make a video still as a new YouTuber on, you know, trying to help newer people because I still honestly kind of consider myself still new, right? I'm only two and a half months. Okay, so first things first, the two main things you need to start your channel. Whenever I say it, y'all gonna be like, girl, we knew that. Like, what are you talking about? But I'm telling you, whenever I first started, whenever several other people have started or are thinking about starting, they feel like they need so much more things. So I feel like I have to say this. So the two main things you need, you ready? A camera, lighting. A camera and lighting. <laughs> Those are the two main things you need. So actually right now, I'm recording on my 7 Plus, my iPhone 7 Plus right here. This is what I'm using to record on. I do have the 11 Pro Max, but swear to God, I do not be using this thing because this thing be putting stuff on my face that's not even there. I will have a bump under my eyeball, and swear to God, this 11 Pro Max will catch it. I, I like The camera is just too good for me. I can't. It, it be seeing stuff, like I said, that's not there. Stuff that, it predict the future. It be stuff that be on my face that's probably going to, it'll be like, you know, Tanisha, you got a bump right here. And I'll look. I don't, I don't see nothing in the mirror, but as soon as I look back in here, it's like a bump all of a sudden. And then, swear to God, like a week later, there goes a bump. So I don't use this camera. I use my 7 Plus to record. So you really only need, like I said, a camera. I made the mistake in the beginning, and I'm going to tell you, you do not need it. I made a mistake in the beginning, and I purchased a Canon G7X Mark II um, because, you know, I heard it was like the best vlogging camera. And the best camera you will need to record. I'm telling you right now, you don't need it. I spent 780 bucks on this camera. I've only used it for one video. And I got a copyright strike on that video, by the way. So, um, <laughs> yeah, I've only used this camera once. You can get it later, but I'm going to tell you now how I feel about it. Um, don't spend money until you're making money. Don't put things... You know, like, your funds and stuff into this channel. You can do that later. You don't need that. Um, so, like I said, the camera. Just use a phone. If you have a little, if you have already have a camera laying around, around the house, then go ahead and use it. But you just need a simple camera to use. A good quality camera. Don't use the boo boo camera y'all got around the house. But, you know, like, something that shows kind of clear. I think this is kind of clear. The next thing when it comes to the lighting. So, I went on ahead when I first started as well. I purchased a ring light i will link it down below i think i spent a hundred dollars on this ring light i got it from amazon got to me in two days and um it's a pretty good ring light you don't need a ring light some of my videos i do not use a ring light um natural lighting is good so either you can use natural lighting obviously or a ring light when it comes to those microphones and all that other stuff that people recommend you do not need that i'm pretty sure y'all can hear me fine and, and i'm just projecting my voice and i'm just like i said using my 7 plus an older iphone it's working just fine it's clear as day you don't need it okay so the next thing i would say that you need to do to have a successful youtube channel is focus on your channel focus on your content Focus on your viewers. 
Do not compare your numbers to nobody else. Don't be comparing your numbers to your friend that started yesterday, your friend that started a month ago, the girl around the block that started two months ago, and you're trying to catch up. You'll wreck your brain. You'll wreck your brain if you keep thinking about it, keep talking about it, keep worrying about it, what other people are doing. You don't know what they're doing to promote their channel. You don't know what they're doing. If they already had subscribers, they was already telling people before they boosted you know, their video. You don't know if they're the president of the CIA. So don't be worrying about what their videos are. Everybody's going to grow differently. So when I say, for example, um, focus on your content, you don't have to pick a niche. For example, for my channel, I talk about several different things. I don't have one certain niche. I don't think I have like one thing that I'm absolutely passionate about. So I just talk about a lot of things that I like and a lot of things that I think other people would like. As long I like it, and then I talk about it because I know like other people, I feel like they would like it, you know? But you don't have to have a certain niche, but try to pick, for example, things that I post on my channel. I don't have a certain niche, but I talk about lifestyle. People probably want to know what I do with my life. They're probably interested in some stuff that I do or some stuff that I have. You know, like, if you play games, do a gaming channel. If you really good with makeup, I kind of suck at makeup. I suck at makeup, so I can't do that. But if you're really good at makeup, do a makeup channel, you know? But you also should think about... Um, if that's a popular topic already, if there's already tr a trillion makeup channels, it might be hard, more hard for you to get discovered or for people to see your videos if it's so cluttered with so many other people doing the same smoky eye look. Damn, how many eyebrow videos you gonna make? And I'm sitting here, talk I'm sitting there, I said that and I made a goddamn eyebrow video <laughs> like a month ago. Why? Well, I, I don't know why I made that eyebrow video and I titled it something stupid like thinning eyebrows. <laughs> so yes. So focus on your content. So something that I felt like was helping me since the beginning was me already having a list. I add something to my list every day if I can. You can, you'll be surprised on where you get your video ideas from. Whether that's watching somebody else's video and they give you a bunch of different ideas. You can be walking down the store. For example, um, that Halloween makeup look I did, I had no intentions on doing that. I was walking down the aisle in Walmart, seeing a Halloween makeup, and I was like, oh, let me try this. And I posted a video. It's so many ways to find video ideas. Like you don't have to focus, like I said, on one thing. There's so many ways you can do it. So the next thing is your audience. So when it comes to your audience, I don't care if you have 20 subscribers and you getting three views per video. You need to post like you have a million subscribers. Post like thousands of people are watching you because eventually you hope to get there. Eventually I hope to get there. Like that's how you need to post. That's how you need to act. Because the people that the people that do like you so far, right? The people that are following you, they don't want to see you moping around and looking dead. You know, maybe they, they might unsubscribe. Not a little twenty subscribers you had gone, gone. Because you want to act crazy because your channel not growing. They don't know that and they don't care about that. They know that they like you. They know they want to see your content. So eventually, you know, if those people like you, why wouldn't other people like you? Don't worry about what other people are doing. Don't don't be upset at the numbers. I used to be obsessed with the numbers when I first started. When I say obsessed, like obsessed. Like I used to wake up at 2 o'clock in the morning to check my comments. Thinking that I had to respond to people quick, fast, and in a hurry. Like, to keep my subscribers up or, you know, like, I used to check my phone, like, every five minutes to see how many views my video just got. Or check my phone to see if I gained a subscriber 30 seconds ago. I used to do stuff like that. Don't do that. Your subscribers will come. They'll come, baby. It's okay. They'll come. Don't worry about it. They'll come. Next. Your watch time. So, honestly, I feel like watch time is kind of hard. But when it comes to watch time, to get ranked in the YouTube algorithm. I think that's the word. Algorithm. Algorithm. <laughs> so, to get ranked in that and for your videos to top and rank above other people's and actually come up in the search, you know, whenever people see, like, the first page or they're scrolling. For your videos to be all the way up there, you need to focus on the watch time. So, what I would say is try to keep your videos really interesting. Try to... Be lively. Like I said, don't be boring. Have some type of personality. Be yourself. Don't don't be acting. Because later on, 20 videos down the line, you're going to forget the persona that you had. And then you're going to be looking crazy. And now you're starting to lose subscribers and watch time. Now you going back down the hill to where you started. So be yourself. If you be, if you boring, then fine. Be boring. Just be boring. It might be other boring people in the world that want to talk. That want to that wanna watch you. You know? So don't be acting, you know, 
a way you not just because you want a camera that's weird that's weird so the next thing be consistent so pick a schedule whenever i first started i was posted every friday every friday um and then i decided personally i feel like you should post maybe about twice a week definitely in the beginning if you want to gain your subscribers show people that you really doing what you're supposed to be doing you out here grinding you out here hustling you want these subscribers show people that you are serious so i would say pick two days out of the week where you know you'll be able to post and put that in your intro somewhere put that at the bottom of your or put it in your bio put it in your video description or somewhere in there you know so that people know that you're serious they can know when to look for your content they ready your viewers sitting right there oh i know that ty J gonna be posting something at 12 o'clock on monday so let me go it's 11 57 let me stand in front of my phone or in front of my tv and as soon as i say upload press it you know, everybody want to be there, right? So you got, like I said, act like it. I don't care, like I said, if you got three videos in the past 10 hours, three videos, three views in the past 10 hours, post, be consistent, be alive, have personality, your time will come. Now, I feel like you're, it's hard to say if your videos, you know, like, if your subscribers will go up, you can't, you can't, you can't, like, Compare, like I said, your videos to other people. Because just because I post something and I got a thousand views in the first hour, you know, you post something on the same topic and you got 70 views in the last hour, you don't know how many subscribers I have. You don't know how many loyal subscribers I have. You don't know what I did to promote that video. Like, you don't know, you know, like what I'm doing and how I've been doing it. You know, so no, that's why I keep saying do not be comparing your stuff to other people. Now, on that, that's another big thing, and I messed up on it completely in the beginning. I was just so worried about people would think about my channel. I was like, okay, I don't want nobody looking at me. You know, like, oh, she's trying to do YouTube too. Everybody trying to get on YouTube. Everybody want to be. Everybody want to be a YouTuber. You know, I I was I don't like negative criticism, so I was against it. Against it, I used to like you know text my mom. Hey mom, I just posted a video. Go watch it. Text my aunt. Make a group chat with some of my family members. Hey you guys, I just started doing YouTube. Go watch my video. Go watch my video. That's how I used to do. Try to be all secretive and stuff. And then it wasn't until one day I was like, you know what? Try it. Just do it. So I posted my first video, which is gonna, which was my, I posted my um, convicted felon story time. That's the first video I ever posted on Facebook. Um, and let everybody know that I was now on YouTube. And my Facebook friends reacted to it greatly. Excuse me. And ever since then, I've been posting on Facebook. Every single video I post, I've been posting. And they love it. And it's great. So I definitely, like I said, recommend it. Do not be scared. Everybody not going to like your content. Everybody, you know, I, my heart dropped when I got my first thumb down. I ain't about to lie. My heart just dropped. I was like, why? Who would do this? I was like... It got to be a way for me to message these people and tell them to change that. Either take that shit off or press a thumbs up. Why are you hater? Like, why are you dumb? Why are you thumbs down my stuff? Like, what are, you, what are you doing right now? That's really how it was. But everybody not going to like your content. I mean, everybody not going to like it. People look for different things. You know, I really just feel like they should take the thumbs down button away. If they don't like it, then fine. Thumbs up or nothing. Don't be thumbs down on my videos. <laughs> I'll be feeling. Okay, so let's get to these free apps. Like I said, these are free apps that I've been using since day one to make my videos, making my um, thumbnails for free, making my intros for free, and how I've been editing my videos. Um, so I've been using Pocket Video. I use that to make my thumbnails. Then you have iMovie. iMovie comes on any and every Apple device. Now, you can do video editor. Um inside the apple store that's a really good app too it's free they do want you to pay for a couple little things but for the most part it's free and i was using that actually before i discovered iMovie then you have thumbnail maker thumbnail maker is a really good app um i'm actually going to display it right here so y'all can see what the apps look like you know whenever you go inside your apple store and then you have um TubeBuddy, that's really good for you creators. It'll help you actually to suggest like tags and stuff your video that can help you to get views on your video. So tags, you can see comments as soon as it's made. You can see like your live watch time or not watch time. You can see your live subscribers. You can see your 
live uh, views update every time you go back on the app. And then you have the YouTube studio app so you don't have to always use your phone or whatever whenever you're trying to look and see what's going on with your account. Last so I'm going to say once again, I'm going to keep saying it because I fucked up. Don't be afraid to tell people. Don't be afraid to tell people. And that's it. So if y'all have any other questions, don't forget to uh, just comment down below. And I'm really good at responding to people's comments. Just message me on Instagram or you message me on Snapchat or even Facebook. Whatever. So thank you guys for watching. Like I said, if you have any questions, just, you know, whatever. See you guys soon. Bye.